A kind, humble and strong woman with an infectious smile. These are some of the qualities people here say they remember about Shirin Abu Aqli. In an official ceremony marking 40 days since Israeli forces killed her, Palestinians say they lost a member of their own family, a presence they came familiar with in the past 25 years. A highly respected journalist who never thought she was too senior for any story. I think there is no other choice except like and love Shireen. Because Shireen was honest, Shireen was direct, Shireen was everything good in this people. A Palestinian official read a speech on behalf of President Mahmoud Abbas. He said Shireen and her reporting exposed truth and irritated the occupation. There is no doubt among Palestinians here as to who killed Shireen. Many have signed a petition demanding her killers be held accountable. They want the International Criminal Court to investigate. We rejected a joint investigation. We did not give them the bullet, but we urged that the rifle that killed Abu Akla be submitted to the ICC. Shirin's killing shocked many people across the Middle East and beyond. At home, it's almost impossible to miss the impact she had. Even from inside Israeli jails, Palestinian prisoners managed to smuggle drawings they painted for Shireen. Shireen never lived to see Palestine liberated from the Israeli occupation. The Palestinian government spokesperson said she will be remembered in history books. Shireen leaves a legacy of a brave journalist. Many here say will remain in their hearts and minds. In her life, and in death, the daughter of Palestine has been a unifying figure to Palestinians across the political spectrum. Nida Ibrahim, Al Jazeera, Ramallah, the Occupied West Bank.